Well, over the past week with the election, a lot of people have been thinking red, white, and blue, but at least one local farmer is thinking just red as he gears up for the next big race. We water either twice a day or once a day. Our fertilizer is in our water system. We pump it in. Like so many other businesses during the pandemic, farmers and nurseries have been struggling. And now with the holidays rapidly approaching, Glenn Miyashita of Glenn's Nursery in Waimanalo is hoping to bank some green, thanks to his sea of red. You look over your shoulder here, it's, uh, we know we're coming into the season, aren't we? Oh yeah, Christmas is coming up fast. Um, this year, you're, we're busy and Christmas moving up more fast. For Glenn, these thousands of poinsettia plants signal the end of the year is rapidly approaching. But while they may scream happy holidays for most of us, Glenn and his team have already been at it for months since getting the cuttings from California all the way back in July. The people I have, they're real good. They know how to clean the plant and what to check for. He says it's always a challenge, and over the past few years, he's had to deal with heavy rains and damaging winds. This year, it was the brutal heat. And summer was real hot. I mean, we had temperatures over here in Wamanalo that we didn't have before. I consider poinsettia the second hardest thing to grow as a seasonal crop, and the first would be Easter lilies because of Mother Nature. Of course, the biggest challenge this year is the pandemic. He says because of concerns over sales, he's growing about 3,000 fewer plants in 2020. When the COVID thing started, they let us uh, cut back if we wanted to, because usually we put in our order a year ahead. We have cancellations from some of our big orders. We do a lot of pre-sales, and um, by that it's the clubs, organizations, um, schools, the bands. But uh, I look on a positive side that uh, you got a good product. I think you can sell it, so I hope so. He says his plant should start appearing soon in grocery and big box stores, and of course his nursery in Waimanalo. And if you're wondering if it's too early to buy them, Glenn says that should be the least of your concerns. You take care of it, it'll last you till next year. I've seen people who bought from us and they come back and they show me their plant. Uh, they take care of the plant and, uh, you know, one year they still have it. Amazing, right? He says the flower will fall off, but the leaves will stay red and the plants will continue to thrive for many, many months ahead. Now, despite all the time and the effort and the TLC that goes into all those plants, they're relatively inexpensive, going for just 10 bucks a piece. Of course, best place to buy them, right at Glen's Nursery, right on the main road there in Waimanalo by Olamana Golf Club.